Hey, happy weekend YouTube. What's going on? So I got some uh, mail today. It's actually a very, very heavy box. And uh, it's a purchase from JM Bullion. Just give me an idea how much this weighs. Let me put this box in the scale here. So over eight pounds. And uh, anyways, I, I placed a similar order like this last year in September. Um, it came in a larger box. I actually ordered more, but um, let's see. Here's the total that I paid, $242. And um, it's not silver. <laughs> it's not gold. <laughs> but um, it is copper. And you're probably wondering, like, dude, you buy... Um, Nice Morgan silver dollars, you buy American silver eagles, you buy graded coins, you buy rattlers, you buy cat coins. Like, why are you wasting your time buying copper? And uh, believe it or not, uh, I think the copper is cool. Um, I do wait for sales, which typically only happen. I'm going to cut this closer to me, but I typically bu uh, buy these once a year. I think I got them last year. Um, for a Black Friday sale. Oh, no, no, that was in September, so obviously I didn't. Um, oh, yeah, I bought um, Dogecoin and uh, Bitcoin copper rounds last year, and they sold pretty well. I actually make 100% profit on the copper rounds, and I actually paid more for them last year because last year in uh, September, the... Uh, the rounds are more expensive and and you, it's weird too because like i do have a business account but i don't i don't tell these um resellers like sd bullion or atmex or whatever that i have a business license because then you have to like fill out a tax form and i really don't care because like most of the stuff i buy is already tax free because of the state i'm in trust me though illinois gets uh gets taxes other ways for sure Let's see what's in this one I think it's the same thing yeah so i'll start with uh, showing off this one so this is the one ounce fine copper i really like the way these looked and they actually had a sale on them there was like a dollar 47 per um, copper round so i was like these are cool so a i like the way that they look b i'm gonna list them um i list my bitcoin copper rounds for five dollars and 94 cents including shipping. Um, I think I'll do the same with these, but um, my my Bitcoin copper rounds actually make 100% profit. But again, guys, it's not crazy, right? I paid two forty seven. I think I profit like $2.52. And I'm still like the cheapest on eBay. But don't get me wrong, like there's certain sellers, they'll like come to market and they'll just like sell it for like $2 with free shipping and they'll literally like lose a dollar per copper round. But um, at a hundred percent profit, it's pretty cool to buy. Again, it's not something very expensive. It's, it's, um, more of like, I guess something you purchase for a child or for yourself. If you like the way it looks, there are people that don't have huge budgets to purchase, uh, silver or gold. So, uh, times are a little tough. Why not get something just as nice? I mean, the uh, the manufacturer or the mint that's making these is still, you know, doing a very excellent job, and uh, the design's very very nice. I think it's cool. So these are the Lady Godiva ones. Let's see what else I got here. But mainly it's it's to uh, it's to like share the hobby. So whether someone wants to buy it just to have it, I mean, people buy. People spend more than six dollars on like coins that are made out of plastic. You know, like those challenge coins. I don't even think they're made out of brass. So I thought these are really, really cool. So these are the uh, T Rex copper rounds. And again, what was the price on these? I think these were like two dollars and forty cents. Because again, I'm, I'm including the tax. And then what's cool about JM Bullion is that any any purchase over one ninety nine is free shipping. But yeah, these, this is actually really nice. It's a very cool design. I think they make a silver version of this. I don't think they make a gold, but I noticed the silver one really wasn't as popular. 
because again, it's more geared towards kids. So typically an adult's going to purchase this for a kid that likes dinosaurs and get them into coins. And for $2.47, I think I can sell this again for like, you know, around six bucks with free shipping. Um, someone will enjoy it and it'll get kids into coins that like dinosaurs, or at least like, I don't know, get them familiar with it. And uh, let's see what the next one is. So again, something a little different. You know, for the money, like what else can you do, right? You can spend two hundred dollars on, or I could have spent what I what was it two forty two. So yeah, I could have spent two hundred forty two dollars on a one tenth ounce gold American silver eagle, and sold it for two hundred fifty dollars, and basically lost twenty bucks after eBay fees. So um, here's the actual Bitcoin ones. I think also look really cool. And again, I, I think I've sold like over a hundred of these in the past year. And these are cool. These actually have 2022 on them. So my other Bitcoin rounds actually have 2021 um, for MJB. I think that's the manufacturer. But this was my favorite um, actual design because it actually looks like a Bitcoin. And again, it's a one ounce copper. And as long as you keep them in the, in the tubes... And then I always ship them in Mylar holders. Um, they're not going to turn green on you. But that's the other thing too, is like you have to, you can't just like buy a bunch of these and like store them in a humid area or an uncontrolled area, you know, too cold, too hot. Cause they will start to turn. I mean, it's, it's a hundred percent copper. Oh, these are more Bitcoin rounds in here. So yeah, I got 40 of the Bitcoin, 40 of the Lady Godiva. I think that's what this is called. Yep, Lady Godiva. Like the chocolate. And um, I think these, like the way they have these, what does this say? Asset? P D N W. I wonder if that's like how Jam Bullion. That must be the mint that sends them like this. Oh, it says right here Triceratops Rex. So yeah, let's see what those look like. But there's like there's no value in like keeping these sealed. Like no one's gonna be like, oh man, I wish I would have kept these sealed 20 years later. These are so cool. It again, it's just it's just kind of like a more of a novelty thing. But I mean, people spend what five dollars to crush a penny and make it look like <laughs> something cool. But again, this is this is really neat. I think this is definitely cool uh, I know if I was a kid I would enjoy them and these are the Lost World collection I actually did get a chance to go to Hawaii where they filmed uh, Jurassic Park and um, I think that was Maui I'm sorry if I got the island wrong but um, we were actually able to go there and check it out but uh, like the actual entrance to Jurassic Park is, is fine because it's like all made out of foam but um, that's what these kind of remind me of. So anyways, I got a nice T-Rex and a Triceratops. Those are, I guess, my favorite. They didn't have a Velociraptor or anything like that. So, But again, for $2.47, like I said, if, if you were, if you, if they're hard, they're kind of harder to, like, <clears throat> I think these go on eBay for like seven bucks. Um, but again, I, I, I'm going to probably list them for six bucks. Again, not, not looking to get rich, just looking to share the hobby, but I just think they were cool. So for the money, I decided to invest them in, in my business. And again, it's like $242. Seriously, it's like the price of like a um, couple coins <laughs> that I'm used to selling. But to me, it's like I don't mind listing something like this. Uh, I think adults uh, can appreciate them. Uh, maybe you want to collect one for yourself and maybe you want to um, buy one for a kid and give it to a kid. I think the kid would think it was cool. I mean, I think it's cool. And if you got a buddy that's like into Bitcoin or something or a teenager, um, they think this is cool because they know what this is. And then if someone's into like more medieval character type stuff like knights and things like this, I think this Lady Godiva coin uh, is pretty cool. And I actually think it's the nicest of all, all of them. I mean, they're all nice, but like this one has a lot of detail. Again, for $1.47, like, or I think it was $1.59, I forgot. 
But anyways, let me know, let me know what you guys think. I know it's not an exciting like Morgan Silver Dollar or Keck Rattler or Fatty NGC, <laughs> but I think it's cool. So and again, they sell, and more importantly, it's hundred percent profit. But again, you're not getting rich. Like you don't want to buy like thousands and thousands of these and then like list them on eBay. Because don't get me wrong, like I've I've had a dry spell where like I'm like, why am I not selling more Bitcoin? And it's because someone else like listed them literally for like three bucks. I'm like, why would they do that when you pay two dollars and forty seven cents? You think you're gonna sell it for three dollars, you're gonna make any profit? Like eBay's gonna take your profit. Oh, and you're giving free shipping. Um, shipping costs more than, you know, eighty one cents or whatever. So people are funny. When they get on there, they list a bunch of stuff and then they look back and like, Oh my goodness, I lost money. Like but I was trying to be really aggressive for the price. Like unless they got them for free, like there's no sense in listing that cheap. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I will have these listed in my store. If you got kids or if you just want them for yourself, I think they're really cool. So again, for six bucks, add it to your order. Like you can't go wrong, but I like them. And uh, this guy here has been a good seller. So, and then, you know, every now and then if I were run out of other free stuff to give away, like Indian head pennies or Buffalo nickels, I actually just bought some more nickels that I'm going to start giving away. Cause I, I got, I got, it's funny guys. Like I get tired of giving away like Indian head pennies and Buffalo nickels. So I even get bored of giving away the same thing for free. And I have like repeat buyers. So I'm like, I don't want to keep giving them the same gift. So I might um, toss one of these in there if they want to like give it to their grandkid or whatever, or their kid. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. I actually do have some stuff. I think it's coming in tomorrow. So I'll list a video of that. But again, it's more like slabs, American Eagles, um, some raw Morgans. Uh, not just copper, but figured just share some copper. Jam is a good source for it. I think they got the best prices around, the best selection, and the nicest uh, copper rounds. But again, that's if you want to stack some copper. I think it's cool. It's super cheap. And guess what? Not a lot of people have tons of money nowadays, so it is something pretty cool to st still be able to share somewhat of the hobby, even though it's like not numismatic. But I think it's cool. And it's a big one-ounce round. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.